Dan the man, I've got a question for you. All right, let's see it. Mary, did you know is one of my favorite Christmas songs and I've seen this meme be passed around where someone actually went through all the questions that were asked in Mary, did you know? And in order kind of answered, no, yes, 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 no. And I just wanted to see if you could fact check his list and answer once and for all, what did Mary know according to the text? So this may shock and horrify some of you, but I don't know this song at all. I've never knowingly listened to this song. I could not quote for you a single lyric apart from the title. Um, so I had to pull up the lyrics and we're going to go through and we're going to see if Mark Hunter's take on whether or not Mary knew these things is accurate. Now, there are some assumptions that we have to make here and I'm going to explain some of these uh, that are related to individual questions in a little more detail. But Mark seems to me to be conflating the Mathean and the Lucan accounts, treating them univocally. In other words, treating them as if they are both perfectly accurate accounts of what happened, telling different sides of the story, but reflecting historically what actually happened to a historical Mary. Uh, and so I'm going to actually explain where an answer seems to be relying more on one account than the other. And the notion that either of these accounts actually explains what may have historically happened to Jesus' own mother, whether or not she was named Mary, is another thing we're just assuming. So um, we've got to take this with a grain of salt. But to start off, Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mark says, no, have to agree. There's nothing in any part of the text related to Mary where that was prophesied. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Mark says, yes. And here we get into some complexities. In the Matthean account, uh, an angel of the Lord tells Joseph, you'll name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. So if Joseph told Mary, then yes, Mary would have known that according to the Matthean account. We also have to ask what Mary would have understood by save our sons and daughters. Because in the Lucan account, the angel Gabriel doesn't say anything to Mary about Jesus saving anyone in any sense. Uh, now, Zechariah prophesies about salvation at the birth of John, but makes no reference to Jesus. It sounds like he's talking about his own son, John. Now, we have the angels telling the shepherds that Jesus would be a savior, the Messiah. And then the shepherds go, and when they meet up with Mary, they tell Mary everything the angels told them. But at the time period, a first century uh, Galilean Jewish person hearing this would have understood this to refer to political temporal salvation, that this savior was going to overcome their oppressors in battle. It doesn't say anything about saving anybody from their sins in the Lucan account. If we set this song after the visitation of the shepherds, then the, according to the Lucan account, Mary would have known there would be some kind of saving going on. Uh, according to the Matthean account, if Joseph told Mary what the angel of the Lord said to him, then she would have had an understanding of salvation from sins. Uh, so it's different depending on which account you think this is coming from and where in time you are placing it. Okay, number three. Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This is kind of related to salvation, uh, but make new is something that we see in other parts of the New Testament. This is not an idea that's reflected in anything that I see in the Mathean or the Lucan account. So I'm going to have to disagree with Mark's yes there. This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Uh, I would say it's the same answer as uh, the question about saving our sons and daughters. So depending on which account, depending on the Matthean or the Lucan account, depending on where in time you place this song, could be yes, could be no. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will give sight to a blind man? I agree with Mark. That's a no. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will calm the storm with his hand? I agree with Mark. That's a no. Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? I agree with Mark. That's a no. When you kiss your little baby, you kiss the face of God. Mark says yes, which is based on a post-biblical innovation, that of the Trinity, the notion that Jesus is God themselves, and that is a development of the 2nd through 5th centuries CE, reliant directly upon Greek philosophy. So I'm going to have to disagree with Mark. Mary would have had absolutely no such concept whatsoever. 
The blind will see. Mark says, no, I agree. The deaf will hear. Mark says, no, I agree. The dead will live again. Mark says, no, I agree. The lame will leap. Mark says, no, I agree. The dumb will speak. The praises of the Lamb, Mark says, no, I agree. Mary, did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mark says, yes. I don't see anything in the text that uh, identifies Jesus as the Lord of all creation. That's more of a Johannine kind of later uh, idea that I think we could say someone at Jesus' uh, death or resurrection could have understood that based on uh, the sermons that Jesus gave, but uh, no, at Jesus' birth or shortly after his birth at the visitation of the shepherds, uh, don't see uh, any such concept. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day rule the nations? Mark says yes. Uh, not sure about that because uh, the angel Gabriel tells Mary uh, in Luke one thirty three. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But I don't see any mention of other kingdoms. Um, I think the Zechariah's prophecy, I don't think that that says anything about other kingdoms as well. But again, that also doesn't refer to Jesus. Um, so I'm going to have to disagree there. Did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect lamb? Uh, Mark says no. Um, I would agree with that as well. As I mentioned in a video I, I published yesterday, the whole Lamb of God thing is a later innovation. That sleeping child you're holding is the great I Am. We're back to the idea that Jesus was identified as God themselves. Uh, that's definitely a no because that is a post-biblical innovation. Uh, now, in the Gospels, we do have Jesus deploying the I am, ego e me, the Greek uh, iteration of that title. Uh, but that's obviously a creation of the gospel authors themselves and particularly uh, John. Thanks for the work you do, Dan. And for those who want to see a conversation between myself and Dan McClellan, check out the Almost Awakened podcast. And tag him in this video so he gets it. Thank you so much for the kind words. They're very much appreciated, and I appreciate the work that you are doing as well. And I would also recommend to everybody that you go check out that podcast.